Hummingbirds have easy access to alcohol, and they drink it a lot. Fermentation processes can occur in flowers filled with nectar under the right conditions. Researchers in California say they are the perfect breeding ground for yeast and bacteria that metabolize sugar and produce alcohol. It turns out that this benefit is used by hummingbirds which drink a liquid with an alcohol content of up to 1%. Alcohol, of course, is not a human invention. It can occur in natural conditions in various ways. Sir animals can come into contact with it. For example, such hummingbirds can consume significant amounts of it daily. Researchers from the University of California have shown. But how does it affect them? The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Royal Society Open Science. We don't think about it on a daily basis. But if someone prepares water with added sugar for birds, it can be said that they are potentially inviting them to the bar. Because yeast or bacteria can nest in this water and initiate the fermentation process. However, such situations can also occur in natural conditions. These are flowers filled with nectar. Also there can be yeast and bacteria that metabolize sugar and are able to produce ethanol. Birds that very often use these water sources are even small hummingbirds. However, this raises a number of questions. First of all, how do they even react to the resulting alcohol? How much do they eat in a day? And how does it affect their body? Hummingbirds eat food that is about 80% water per day. Their body weight, and the source of this food is largely the nectar mentioned above. Thus, even if only some of these sources contained a small amount of alcohol, one could expect that in proportion to the body weight of the hummingbird. The volume of alcohol consumed would be quite large. In the context of the hummingbird's approach to alcohol, the researchers noted that liquids containing up to 1% alcohol did not bother them. They like to drink this water. However, it seems that they do not like to exaggerate with intoxicating drinks. A slightly stronger liquid, one that has about 2% alcohol.
alcohol makes a difference. In this situation, they are still able to drink it, but half as much as in the case of a weaker solution. Although de facto this means that they drink the same amount of alcohol anyway. The researchers then checked the alcohol content of the water present in the dispenser for two weeks. It turned out to be even lower. It was only 0.05%. However, still eating food weighing 80% of body weight per day can result in a significant amount. But researchers suggest that these small birds probably metabolize and burn alcohol quite quickly. They probably do not even feel any negative effects associated with its consumption. Simply put, they don't get drunk on it. However, there are animals that come into contact with alcohol much stronger. An example here are shrews living in the western part of Malaysia. They feed on nectar from the inflorescence of palm trees which can contain up to 3.8% alcohol content. This also applies to the Kukangs and the Madagascar fingerlings, primates. Assuming, however, that our attraction to alcohol is the result of an evolutionary adaptation. We can conclude that a closer study of these mechanisms in animals will also contribute to a better understanding of them in humans as well.